If you see them outside your house, don't let them in. In this video, I will tell you the horror story of the Black Eyed Children's. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. Once upon a time, in a small, secluded town nestled deep within the misty woods, strange rumors began to circulate among the locals. Whispers of eerie encounters with the mysterious black eyed children sent shivers down the spines of those who dared to speak of them. Legend had it that these black eyed children were ghostly figures pale and haunting, with eyes as black as the darkest night. They were said to appear to unsuspecting individuals, usually after the sun had set, seeking entrance into their homes or cars. The first documented encounter was by a weary traveler named Samuel, one stormy night. He found himself lost in the labyrinthine trails of the woods. As the rain poured heavily and the thunder roared, he stumbled upon an old, decrepit cabin seeking refuge from the relentless storm. He knocked on the creaking door. To his surprise, two young children, no older than 10, stood before him. They had strange, blank expressions on their faces, and their eyes were entirely black, devoid of any discernible pupils or irises. Fear gripped Samuel's heart, but he couldn't turn away from their seemingly innocent pleas for help. Please, sir, may we come in? We're lost and cold said the boy with a hollow voice that sent chills down Samuel's spine. Their request was unnatural, for they should have been frightened by the storm, but instead they appeared calm and detached. Despite his instincts warning him against it, Samuel hesitantly let them inside. As the children stepped over the threshold, a sinister aura seemed to fill the room. The cabin's atmosphere turned suffocating, and a cold chill permeated the air. Samuel realized that something was terribly wrong. I, I think you should leave, he stammered, trying to muster the courage to get them out. We can't leave until you invite us in, replied the girl with an unsettling smile. Samuel quickly regretted ever opening the door. Panic consumed him, and he managed to gather the strength to demand they leave immediately. The children's eerie expressions twisted into scowls as they retreated back into the darkness, disappearing into the stormy night. Terrified and bewildered, Samuel sought the advice of the town's wise elder, Madame Agatha. She was known for her deep knowledge of the supernatural and mystical entities that roamed the world. Upon hearing Samuel's chilling tale, Madame Agatha's eyes widened in concern. She revealed that the black-eyed children were ancient spirits trapped between worlds and their intentions were far from benign. They sought entry into homes and souls, seeking to drain the life force from their victims. But fear not, said Madame Agatha, for there is a way to protect yourself. They can't enter without an invitation. So never let your fear cloud your judgment. Samuel heeded her advice and spread the word throughout the town. Tales of the black-eyed children became cautionary tales parents told their children at bedtime reminding them to never open the door to strangers, especially on stormy nights. The encounters with the black-eyed children became less frequent, as the townspeople became more vigilant, though their eerie presence continued to linger on the edge of everyone's imagination. The townsfolk found comfort in their shared knowledge and the wisdom passed down through generations. And so, the town became a haven of safety once more guarded against the chilling darkness that lurked beyond the woods. The legend of the black-eyed children remained, a haunting reminder to all who heard it, to be cautious of the unknown and to trust their instincts when faced with the strange and otherworldly. What can you say about this video? Comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more true horror stories. Thanks for watching.